Back in 2022, I went through several coding interviews and received offers from tech companies. That experience inspired me to share what I learned in this video. I have refined those strategies that I followed, so it's more helpful and relevant for anyone preparing for job interviews today. Even though I did well in my university courses on algorithms and data structures, the idea of a coding interview focused on algorithms always made me nervous. So I spent three months improving my interview skills and by the end of it, I managed to secure offers from different tech companies. Coding in an interview can be really stressful, especially when someone is watching your every move. To make it even harder, you are expected to explain your thought process out loud while you work on the solution. I used to believe that thinking, coding and talking all at once was nearly impossible. But then I realized something important. Most people are not naturally good at coding interviews when they begin. It's a skill like any other that you can improve with study, preparation and practice. Using lead code alone is not the best way to get ready for coding interviews. Jumping straight into solving thousands of questions without a plan wastes time and won't prepare you as effectively as a structured approach. Think about this. If you spend 30 minutes per question and practice for about 3 hours a day, you would only get through around 160 to 170 questions in 3-4 weeks. Even then, you might not fully grasp the right techniques or remember what you practiced earlier. Instead, here is a smarter way to prepare for your software engineer coding interview. Start your coding interview preparation. Choosing the right programming language is key. The best choice is a language you are comfortable with and one that works well for interviews. So what makes a language a good fit for interviews? Ideally, it should be a higher level language with a rich standard library and built-in data structures, making it easier and faster to write code. Some great options for coding interviews include Python, C++, Java and JavaScript. These languages are widely used and they make it easy for you to solve problems during an interview. There's one exception to the usual rule of choose any programming language you like. When you are interviewing for a role that's domain specific like front-end, iOS or Android development, in these cases you will need to be comfortable solving algorithmic problems in languages relevant to the role such as JavaScript for front-end or Objective-C, Swift and Java for mobile development. If the language you are using does not support a certain data structure like a queue or heap in JavaScript, don't hesitate to ask the interviewer if you can assume the existence of a data structure with the specific methods and time complexities. Interviewers usually allow this as long as the implementation details are not the central to the problem. Ultimately, the ability to understand and choose the right data structures for solving problems matters far more than knowing how to implement them from scratch. So how much time does it take to get ready for a coding interview? It depends on how thoroughly you want to prepare. On average, covering just the basics takes about 3 weeks to 1 month, while being fully prepared might require around 4 to 6 months depending upon your speed to get acquainted with the concepts and getting comfortable to solving problems. To get started, always create a plan, look at how much time you have until your interview and break it down into daily study sessions. Focus first on the most important topics and questions to make the best use of your time. But how do you figure out which topics and questions to prioritize? Use tools or resources that rank questions by importance and provide a balance between covering a wide range of topics and diving deeper into them. There are various DSA sheets available on YouTube ranging from 75 problems to 450 problems. You can pick any one of them according to the time you have left. If you have more time, aim for a more in-depth preparation plan. Spending 2-3 hours a day for about 5-6 to six months allows you to cover everything thoroughly. Following a structured study plan can guide you step by step through the topics and questions you need to master. Once you have picked your programming language, the next step is to get comfortable with its algorithms and data structures. Practice solving algorithmic questions directly in your chosen language. While books like Cracking the Coding Interview are helpful, trying out code, running it and getting instant feedback is often more effective. There are many platforms like you already know, Lead Code, Hacker Rank and Code Forces, where you can practice coding problems online and become fluent in your language. From my experience, Lead Code questions are the most similar to what you will encounter in interviews while Hacker Rank and Code Forces lean more toward competitive programming challenges. By practicing enough on lead code, you might even come across questions that are same or similar to those in your actual interview. 
Additionally, take time to learn the time and space complexities of common operations in your language. For example, Python sorting function uses TimSort, a hybrid algorithm, and understanding its efficiency can be helpful. When you finish a problem, make it a habit to write down the time and space complexities as comments in your code. This will not only help you remember them, but also prepare you to clearly explain your solution and analysis during an interview. One of my go-to strategies is to watching YouTube videos at 2x speed to quickly review core interview concepts. This helps me brush up on areas where I feel weak or rusty, like sorting algorithms or specific data structures. After that, I focus on topics related to the job I am applying for. For example, if it is a backend development role, I'll review database queries or system design concepts through videos and then tackle some practice problems. Resources like Glassdoor are also great for getting insights into a company's interview process. I also like to watch videos on logic puzzles and brain teachers. I pause the video, try to solve the problem myself and then check the solution. This is not about memorizing answers but about training your mind to think through abstract problems effectively. Let's face it, coding interviews can feel like stressful exams, especially for entry-level positions. Trying to master every possible topic is not realistic or helpful. Instead, focus on building a strong foundation in the fundamentals and tailor your preparation to each specific interview. During the interview, don't be afraid to admit if you don't know the answer to a question. Show your reasoning process and a willingness to learn. That matters just as much, if not more, than getting everything right. Last but not the least, in almost every software engineering interview, you will be expected to start with a self-introduction and end with questions for an interviewer. These moments are more important than they might seem. They are your chance to make a great impression and turn the interview in your favor. Take some time to craft a strong self-introduction that highlights your relevant skills, experience and passion for the role. Keep it concise yet engaging, focusing on what sets you apart. At the end of the interview, come prepared with thoughtful questions. These could be about the team, the projects or the company's future direction. Well-crafted final questions not only show your interest but also give the interviewer a positive impression of your curiosity and enthusiasm. Congratulations! It's time to put all your hard work into practice in a coding interview. You'll face a technical question either in a real-time collaborative editor or on a whiteboard. You'll typically have 30 to 45 minutes to solve the problem. This is where the challenge gets exciting. The interviewer's goal is to evaluate whether you have the skills for the role. Your job is to show them exactly that. While it might feel unusual at first, talking through your thought process while coding is essential. Most programmers don't naturally explain their ideas aloud while typing. But it's a crucial skill for interviewers. Why? Because the interviewer can't read your mind by just looking at your code. Start by clearly explaining your approach before you write a single line. This not only helps the interviewer understand your thinking but also gives them a chance to validate your approach. It becomes a collaborative process and you will be aligned on the best way to solve the problem right from the start. I hope my preparation strategy will help some of you guys in getting a good job. All the best and thanks for watching.